Hello and welcome to Biotechnica. Today, I have a surprise visitor from Jain College. Her name is Pragya and she just finished her master's and she has come to me in Biotechnica's Bangalore headquarter and she has some questions. So we thought why not record this conversation because similar questions many of you might have so probably we can have a conversation and that will clear a lot of doubts to all of you. Just to give you a glimpse of it, she has just passed out and now she is planning for her CSANET and also thinking whether she should take up a job or not. So over to you, Pragya, what are questions you have? I'm open to that. Good afternoon, sir. So starting with it, that first question is that after clearing one exam, like either CSIR or GATE or some other entrance exams, mm. what are the procedures of how to enter the colleges, how to apply, how to apply. Okay. So, to answer your question, the first things here is, if you don't have a 99 point something percentile, either in CSIR, net or gate, please do not consider yourself successful. Okay? Because anything lesser than that, you will get only mediocre colleges and mediocre colleges will, will only produce mediocre PhDs. Okay. okay? So, that's the first point. The second point is, Okay, if you have qualified and you have that 99 percentile and above, then you have to go to the college or you can apply online whenever you have the application, you get the application notification in by it. So you apply online. Now, if they shortlist you, they'll call you. So you can get a view, uh, call through email or PDF, whatever they go for, or they will call you. Generally, they don't call, they'll email. So now you have to go to the campus and face the interview. Now, in case there are more than 10 candidates, okay, then they will conduct a written test. Okay? okay. So you have to qualify the written test and then you uh, qualify the interview and then only you are getting selected. Now, very important thing here is many students think that, okay, it will just be interview, right? Mm -hmm. We can just go and qualify. It's not like that. The interview most pr probably will be in the lab. Okay? Okay. And they'll ask you, go pick that reagent, go do this experiment, demonstrate how would you do this experiment. And then they will ask you applied questions. Just like, just imagine that you extrapolate the part C questions of CSR, right? Okay, means practical applications. Exactly. So, that is the reason majority students get rejected because if you have only prepared for CSR, right, you don't have any hands-on experience, you don't have any applied knowledge, you don't have data interpretation skills, most probably the top-notch institutions will get, will reject you. Okay? okay. So, you have to keep this in mind. Right? Go ahead. Uh, and so, the sessions of means when to apply like one is during this august time right. and the next session will be so you have uh, june july august one mm -hmm. session shall start another will start february march okay so two times the application notifications will come and if you are subscribed to biotechnica most probably you will get all those notifications and you will be able to apply so that's something you have to remember also you have to always apply within the deadline if you apply at the last minute they may you know, may not see even the applications because they get a lot of them, right? Yes. So you have to keep that in mind. Okay? Okay. And when you apply, a statement of purpose, why you are applying, what is your vision, what do you want to become, why you should want to work in this particular organization, all this you have to mention, along with your updated CV. Okay. Updated CV? Yes, you should up it's in ask your CV also. Okay. Right? So, it's always better to get into via an Cracking an exam only means not going in person directly to a professor. Uh, Good question. And that's what I was looking forward to actually. So, two days back, I met a girl. She is now 29. Okay. So, she qualified CSIR net LS. And then she thought, okay, let me not go for JRF. I will just work as a permanent contractual uh, JRF, SRF position mm -hmm. and then convert that into a PhD. Okay. And she was working in CFTRI, Mysore. She worked for three years, but now she was at the whims and fantasy of this guide. If the guide is getting fund funding, only then he will pay the salary. If he's not having the funding, he will, he will not pay the salary. And he will he can pay anything. He may not pay you also. Correct? Okay. So that is what happens. Now, if you don't have a JRF, so you have to wait for him to pay. And he has to wait for from the funding agency, which is a CRB or a CSIR or CSIR, HRDG, whoever is funding, DBT. So basically, these guides will write proposals to the granting agencies, grants agencies, and they'll get the funds. And then they will look for people who want temporary JRF, SRF. They'll pay you 8,000 rupees or 10,000 rupees, and you have to work. Now, you are thinking that in due course of time, they'll convert it into a PhD. But 99% cases, it may not happen. Okay? 
for example this girl so she's 29 now her uh, you know uh, project was never converted to phd the guide of ran out of funds so now she was on the road like I don't know anything and she came here to apply for a job and then she got selected also. So this is what happens. Okay? okay. So always see if you are applying anyways you want to go into research then target ZRF. Okay? Don't think that I will go get an LS and then I'll go and uh, do some temporary projects and in future will convert it into a PhD. Yes, if you have crossed the age limit that's the only option left. But if you have not crossed the age limit please go for ZRF. Okay? And sir uh, there means it often happens that many options are there that many says that okay one or two years of job experience then we can go for a phd and some are like me like who want to continue with the course academic so which one will be the beneficial and what's the prospects i love this question this is something like is par to ek alag se video ban sakta hai but i will answer that quickly for you so there are two categories of students one will say okay let me go for a job for two years i'll settle down and then i'll go back and write say sirnet you have to keep this in mind that learning ability is also ability yes. just like to study a sub- new subject and understand it this is ability now if you stop studying suddenly and go for a job and two years you do job your learning ability will go away yeah. okay so once your learning ability is gone then you cannot come back and study how much ever you try right always you will have th- this in the back of your mind if i do a job i'm getting money why should i do this let me not do it right so that comparison will constantly be there you will never progress okay now coming to the second part okay you did uh, you didn't do the job you s- you know studied and you qualified easy way this is easier than to doing a job because you think that okay if i take up a job i'll get money and using that money i can fund my you know studies and all that see job is such a thing it's a treadmill mm. okay your college kept you busy that that was that is one treadmill this is another treadmill this is a more difficult treadmill yeah. because your boss will have targets his boss will have targets his boss super boss will have targets so all of them that target will come to you now you are running to achieve all that target you are running right so from when your uh, job of 9 to 5 will convert to morning 7 o'clock to night 10 o'clock we don't know. right so when you will get time right so that is where just 5 uh, days back i was talking to a girl she said the same thing that i want to leave this job in lupin because from morning till night i'm working when i'll get time and i have to travel also 2 hours mm. correct and then she left her job and now focusing only on csnet now another aspect of this will be students who have this learning ability and they are in touch with the subject have higher chances of qualifying so your chance of qualifying because you just passed out is higher than anyone else who did 2 years of job and then coming back and preparing because you are still touching the subject yes. in touch with the subject right so that's how mm. it works and also uh, the exams and the individual colleges they give age limits also right? yes that's a well very important point which i also forgot that your age limit will cross right mm-hmm. so right now suppose you are 22 so you have 6 years 12 csir attempts you have in case of females it is up to 33 so you have lot of time so you can practice as much as you can and then you qualify mm-hmm. but if you go for a job that age limit will go away right after 33 you cannot go for the jr if you will have to sit with ls throughout your life if i write a jr if exam i'll not mm-hmm. qualify right i have to write ls that's something you have to think in mind uh, and then you have to prepare it right? is a very important point which you said mm-hmm. yeah and um, at present mm-hmm. like in india the biotech parts wet lab and dry lab both are like going together but right. many says that dry lab is better mm-hmm. so why it is so because mainly the experiments are hands on work correct it should right. not it should be weight lab should get more more priority than why it's like dry lab it's said to be okay so let's look at this we have uh, a battery operated vehicle nowadays and we have a diesel or a petrol vehicle which one is good battery operator no actually research has found out that a hybrid vehicle is better hybrid okay okay which uses battery also when petrol is less and which uses petrol when battery is less and back up yeah at each other back up to each other mm-hmm. plus it doesn't it doesn't pollute as much as you know the environment uh, is being polluted by diesel or petrol or the batteries even batteries pollute the environment mm-hmm. the same story applies here whether it is dry lab or wet lab a fusion of both so you must have hands on experience of the wet lab please don't avoid that mm-hmm. okay a everybody in india we have a fancy that will sit, sit in front of a system or computer and work but if you don't have experience of the wet lab 
you cannot apply that in dry lab dry lab is nothing but apply, applying the wet lab concepts in inside a computer a virtual environment so if you don't know if you don't have answer of that you cannot do it here correct now let us look at it a dry lab thing is expandable so you should have it okay but only if you have the right kind of mix of experience in the wet lab so if you know how this particular experiment works in the wet lab when then you were doing in dry lab you will you can recognize okay this is not going as per what i have experienced right so this is wrong many times the dry lab experiments will be wrong so wet lab experience comes handy so you have to have a mix of both have a hybrid not only dry lab not only wet lab both so my suggestion if you are a bachelor's or master's in biotechnology you learn by informatics you do some workshop training program internships uh, some kind of degree or diploma so that you have the knowledge of bioinformatics now many students will come and say i will do only bioinformatics msc mm. that will not help unless you want to become a software programmer in bioinformatics then only doing a degree in bioinformatics makes sense otherwise you shouldn't have a mix of both if you want to become a researcher scientist okay okay go ahead ha uh, okay this all as of now okay so that's all the questions she had now one last point for all our subscribers who are watching this video i must tell you this that she's brave enough that she came down here and she met me and she had this questions and and for the first time she faced camera and she asked me questions i know a lot of you have questions so i'll give you a slot anybody who is willing to talk to me can come in between 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock but before coming please uh, inform me so that i can keep that slot available for you so in between 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock every day i meet one new student and if they want we can always have a record recording like this which goes to our youtube channel so please do not hesitate if you want to meet me and discuss any of your career queries and if you want to write to me you can write to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org one in important information she is taking classes at biotechnica for her csi and and wet lab training also she is taking at biotechnica if anyone among you who is also interested can always avail our scholarships and take this like she is a scholar at biotechnica so i wish you all the best take care bye bye